Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Sarah Diamond. And I'm Josh Smith. The Washington County, Tennessee school system unveiled a brand new school bus today, but it isn't just any bus. This one is completely electric. It is silent and can travel around 120 miles on a single charge. News Channel 11's Ashley Sharp has more on this innovative addition and why it's making history on state roadways. Washington County students will be the first in Tennessee to ride an all electric school bus. We're the first county in Tennessee. We're the first town in Tennessee. Now we have the first electric bus in the state. Washington County Schools given a grant of $220,000 through the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation. Recent studies have shown that the negative impacts on academic performance from student exposure to transportation related emissions is a that's a real issue. It's meant to reduce carbon emission and also lower fuel costs while promoting a healthier environment for students and the community. As far as the state of Tennessee, this is a big deal in the sense of moving into a zero emission school transportation. This is the first step in making a huge difference statewide, promoting better air quality with more electric vehicles. Tennessee is leading from the front on this particular issue, and our state is proud to be number one in the southeast for EV and related parts manufacturing. For us, this is the future. This is where we want to be. This is where we want our communities to be. A partnership between Bright Ridge and the Tennessee Valley Authority helped make this possible at no additional cost to taxpayers. And for students? The exciting thing, not only will they get to ride an electric bus, but they will also get to learn about the electric bus. Washington County leaders say it's one small change that will have a huge impact for years to come. Uh, electric vehicles are a good thing and it's the wave of the future and to, for Washington County Schools to lead the way on that, uh, we pride ourselves on being a great school system and being number one. In Jonesboro, Ashley Sharp, News Channel 11. The new bus will be on a regular route this fall, five days a week, replacing one of the county's old diesel-powered buses.